your first pair of shades. Are you ready? You know how to wear them? You pick these out. So let's see. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, this is her first pair of shades. <laughs> she like them. She ain't trying to take them off. I just knew she wouldn't go like them. That is so funny. Do you like those? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> You're so funny. You're so funny and very unpredictable. I just knew you was gonna try to snatch them off your face. You wanna take them off? So look, this is how the cool people wear them. Look. Ooh, you cool girl. Ooh, look at you. <laughs> you like, where'd I go? Here they go. Here they go. Oh. Here they go. Uh oh. Did that scratch your nose? Did that hurt your nose? Uh oh. Let me see. Oh, no, it's okay. Look, you had these on. Look. You like them? You picked them? You like the little sparkly bow? Oh, you just want to eat them? Oh, oh, well. You can't eat these. They got too many hazards. Look, that'll pinch you. Like if you close your little lip up in there, that'll pinch. You can look at them from a distance. Okay. This is what she was saying. She had them on. <laughs> Ah, I love this. Okay, you can't play with these though. This is not a toy. No, no, no. This is for whenever we go to the beach. Give me these glasses. Give me these glasses. Give me these glasses. <laughs> All right, y'all. Experience her first experience with shades. You ready to get up? You want to go meet? You wanna go me? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Get up. Get up. What you waiting on? <laughs> oh, funny. Mine and Jay's first outing, so far so good. Whew. Did not know how cold it was out here because I just looked out of the window and saw that it was a beautiful sunny day and I thought, I wanna take the baby for a walk. Let Kelly sleep in and just go start getting my body back, right? Walked outside, immediately it was freezing. I had to run back in while she was screaming because I tricked her. We were going outside. I went back in. She's crying and carrying on. I run in, get her socks, get her a hat. <laughs> she is tacky as I'll get out. <sighs> but we made it. And we are halfway in our walk. Doing great. I wish. I wish I had a jogging stroller. Because I just have one that's like. You take in the trunk to the mall. It's like super like skimpy. It's low I'm very tall for a girl so I'm like bending over so I'm using one hand currently you can see I'm using one hand to do this because it's like I can't bend over with both arms but I'll show you her in a second she's loving it I'm so glad we're doing this me and her need to start getting out of the house more in a 
fun way, not just for church or work or whatever. We need to get out of the house and do something enjoyable that we like. And I think this might be the one. Because I used to jog like, I used to be like this amazing jogger for like 10 years. I jogged. I was up to like jogging maybe five miles without stopping at a time. I had a really great body insert picture. I want to kind of get back to that. I know it's not 100% realistic to think that I could have that body again after having birth. You know, it took six years to get that body. So I'm willing to put in the time in six years. Hopefully I'll get something that looks close to that. <laughs> you shall see. I know that um, this is just day one of us doing this, but I hope and I pray that we can stick to it. And I was weary about telling you all what I was doing, but I thought I want them to see the journey and how you can enjoy the journey. So hopefully I display how to enjoy the journey on this channel. I really enjoy taking y'all along with me for the ride. And I hope you enjoy watching as I learn to be a mom and take care of this little baby that God gave me. I'm gonna let y'all take a peek at her. She is really enjoying this. She's not a peek from her so far. I fed her, changed her right before we left. So hopefully she takes a good nap. She's been struggling with four month sleep regression. All my groups on Facebook call it the four month sleep progression because it's really good because she's learning how to connect her sleep cycles and it's just she is not napping throughout the day so thank god she still sleeps at night like six or seven hours right now it used to be 12 but who's counting but um i'm gonna let y'all see her she's really enjoying herself some of my clothes still fit me, you know, being postpartum. Nobody really tells you how hard, how hard life can get after having a baby. I mean, it's like you hear that it's, oh, it's hard, but they really like, these moms be out here struggling in silence and not telling nobody. And whenever they do tell somebody that they're struggling, it's like, there's no empathy. Like even from other moms, I feel like mostly, I, there's a couple moms that I talk to there, they're like, oh, I get it, I'm so sorry. And like, let me vent without saying like, you're a mom, you could do it, you could do it, you could do it. Like, I know I can do it, but it freaking sucks sometimes. And like, nobody talks about how much it can suck. I mean, of course there are good moments where you're like, oh, I love this freaking baby so much. I ah, can't believe she came from my loins. You know, like those are the moments that you have, but there's a lot of other moments too that are, and she just dropped her hat. So I'm having to dust it off and put it back on her. Actually, actually she probably don't need it. We're in the sun now. So there are so many moments that are just almost like unbearable at times where it's like you've gotten zero sleep in weeks and you're trying your best to like stay like positive for the baby because the baby feels all your emotions especially if you're breastfeeding they pick up on every single emotion that you have <sighs> so it's like you're trying to just be your best so that the baby's not sad with you you know <laughs> which that's gonna happen sometimes you're not able to control your emotions 100% of the time and the baby needs to see that you know but I do not like making her feel bad because I feel bad so I try my best to just stay positive but there are those moments where you just need to vent and you just need to say this sucks and you need to have people around you that are like I'm sorry I know it sucks I'm glad I have like just just there's just a couple of people I can tell that to and it's like not like you're a bad mom type of vibe because I've vented to a few people that are like, yeah, well, that's just how it is. Moms always have to do this. Moms, are, you know, and it's just, mm, mm. 
dads should feel this too. Like, it's not just moms that should feel overwhelmed all the time. Like, I'm fortunate to where I have a full-time, like, dad. Like, she has a full-time dad that can, like, help me and take care of her. But it's like, that's his job. He shouldn't get pat on the back because he does what he's supposed to do. I don't want a pat on the back because I do what I'm supposed to do. I just want to be able to express that it sucks sometimes, you know? I don't know. I just went off on a whole tangent, but irregardless, like this. <laughs> we're having a good walk. And I just wanted to update y'all. And there's the car coming, so I'm going to put my phone down and pay attention.